Welcome back to Valerie's Vanity. Today I am going to be doing a first impressions video of some new products that I got and just hang out with you guys. So continue watching if you want to see my new stuff. Okay, so I already put on my foundation and I'm going to start off. Don't look at my nails. I need them done really bad. But this is the new Tarte, or sorry, it's not new, it's new to me. It's the Tarte Pro Remix, and this was originally $50, and I got it on sale for $25. And look how cool it is, it like changes. And I'm so excited to play with these colors, look how pretty they are. I love the packaging on this and the huge mirror. It's so nice. It actually smells really good too. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but I'm just going to go through with this color mixed media. It's just like a nude and I always just, I always just sweep that over my eyes. This might actually be a little bit too light. I don't know. I usually do like a more of a skin color, but this will work too. And I'm just using my Morphe M504 to do so. And I'm going to, hmm, oh, I want to use this color. It's called Graphic. It's like this dark purple sparkly. Oh, yes. A girl. And I am going to be using my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to lightly put that on the corner of my lids because it is pretty dark. I don't even know if this is gonna match my outfit today, but whatever. And then I'm just going to buff that on the lid and into my crease. This is actually a lot darker than what I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. It's almost looking like a gray. It doesn't quite look purple. Actually, it almost looks black. And as you can see in the pan, it looks like a dark purple. So uh, maybe I'll go over with this color mashup right here and kind of mix that in to bring out the purple. I know I just recently did a purple eye look, but this is different stuff. Okay, so, yeah, I think that looks better. That helped a lot. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to go through with my Morphe M506, and this is just like a really thin brush, and I'm going to go in with the color Ins Inspiration, and that is just going to be like a light champagne color that I'm going to put under my brow. Yes to brighten that up. It actually lightened up this color a little bit too when it mixed in, so that's good. I didn't want to go too dark on the eyes since it is like daytime. Okay, and then I am going to be using, by the way, this was a really good find at Ulta. I don't know if I said that or not. I'm not sure if Sephora and Ulta have the same sales. I really don't know. I just happened to come across that one. And I'm so excited about these new Milani liquid eyeshadows. They're called Hypnotic Lights. Took me a minute to process that. And this is in the color Desert Heat and it's like a white iridescent-ish color. And this is in the color Cosmic Meadow. And this is the one that we're going to be using today. This is actually the color that it looked like it was going to be in one of my Boxy charms. Oh yes, that is so purple. I love it. That is what I want. In one of my boxy charms, I got a liquid eyeshadow, and it looked like it was going to be this color in the bottle, but it didn't come out that way at all. And I love that this Milani one is true to what is on the package. That is so pretty. So I'm kind of putting this to the test to see if it does as well. I'm sure this is supposed to be kind of like a dupe to the Smashbox one that I have or the Stila um, liquid eyeshadows, the liquid glitters. 
I know this is like r liquid eyeshadow is just really popular so but it's also very expensive and these were only $10.99 so if these work out they will definitely be staying in my makeup collection and I'll probably use these on clients if they work out because I'm all about what works okay right now I use um, the Stila liquid eyeshadows on all of my clients but on myself, I try different brands. This is the one that I've used in the past. As you can see, the Milani one is a little bit more sparkly and they're kind of different. This is more of a pink and this is more of a lavender. So I was curious to try it. And now I'm just going to mix the two, the shadow with the liquid shadow a little bit. Oh yes, I love this purple, it's so pretty. Okay, yes, I'm excited. Okay, now I'm going to be using the Maneater Tarte, what's it called? Eyeliner, thank you for words. And I'm just going, actually, you know what? I am not going to put this on. I changed my mind. I'm allowed to do that, right? I'm just gonna do bottom liner today. I don't feel like messing with top liner today because I kind of just want to keep the purple on its own. I think it looks really pretty. I mean, I, I'm always here for a winged liner, but I'm not like really feeling it today. So I'm just going to be putting this in the waterline. Obviously this isn't new makeup, but it is, whoa, I just got eyeliner in my eye. You know, whenever you see a like the dot and then you don't really feel it until you see it that just happened so I'm just gonna wing this out just a little bit since I'm not doing my top wings we have been so busy lately like it's been crazy my father-in-law is about to move in and we've had graduation parties back to back I'm actually getting ready to go to one and it has just been crazy in the Burton household. And we're getting everything ready for summer. We're about to open our pool. So it's just been so busy. So I'm sorry that I'm not on the regular with my videos. I was actually just thinking about how I need to create more of like a consistent time to upload my videos. Cause I usually would not be uploading on a Sunday, but hey, I wanted to throw out the video for you guys this week. So. I'm throwing it at the literally end of the week. Okay, so I just put on, oh, I forgot to put this on the bottom. I got too into what I was saying. So I just put on some white mascara. This obviously isn't a new product, but the other products I'm about to use are. So while that's setting, I am going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I actually have tried this product before, but it was back when they only had like the bronzer in, oh, like the, the deepest color was too light for everybody pretty much. And this is the newer one. I just like ripped this to pieces, deep bronzer. So hopefully this one will match better. And oh, I love the smell of it. It just smells like summertime. It comes with this little thing, but I usually just give them to my cat because she likes it and I don't use that. I just use like a bigger brush, just like a big fluffy brush like so. Hopefully this will be more bronzed. And I'm just putting this on my cheeks and kind of blend it around. And I'll contour a little bit up here. Oh yeah, this color is a lot better than the other one. I have the other one, it's right here. This is just, it just says bronzer. And, oops, I just put my nail in the new one, Mubby. Uh, this is deep bronzer, so that's the difference. It looks some, pretty much the same packaging and everything, but 
this is the newer one that they just came out with because people, I think they listened to the people and everyone was complaining that they didn't have a deeper bronzer, especially for the summertime. I don't know why I just said it like that. Summertime. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. I like. Okay. So, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so now I am going to go through with this Happy Blush. This is also by Physicians Formula. Physicians? 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 Physicians Formula <laughs> is a great drugstore brand. This says Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. Look happy. Feel happy. I want to feel happy, so we'll throw this on. This also comes in the same, similar packaging. Oh, look at the cute little hearts. That is so cute. And then it also comes with the brush at the bottom that will soon be my cat's. And I am oh, I keep sticking my fingers in this stuff with my nail. That's like the worst, especially with new makeup. I'm just all over the place. Okay. I am just... I'm breaking everything today. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. I am looking for my Jaclyn Hill blush brush, okay? And I'm just gonna mix all these colors around. As you can see, there's different shades in here. My mom uses this and she loves it, so. Ooh, that's nice. And it's really pink. I might need to tone it down a little bit and go back through and use the same brush. I didn't necessarily add more product. I'm just using the same brush that I used with the bronzer to kind of like tone it down a notch. Uh, I might have to actually go back through with the bronzer because I kind of look like theater makeup or something. I'll just put some bronzer on top. That's the thing about makeup, you can always fix it. Wipe it off, cover it up, whatever you wanna do. Okay. I'll just keep covering my mistakes. Plus I'm about to be outside in a graduation party and I'm probably gonna sweat all this off anyway, so. Whatevs. <laughs> okay, that looks better, I guess. Yeah, what ifs. Okay, I clearly am getting a little bit too wild in here. So I really do my um, personal opinion on the physician's formula. They smell great, which that matters to me, and they look nice. I'm not really sure how long they're going to last compared to my like other name brand products. So I will try it out today since I'm going to be outside a lot, and we'll see. I mean, obviously I'm gonna put on a setting spray, so that should help. Okay, now I'm going to go through with my mascara. And this is just the Bad Gal Bang Benefit Mascara. Mascara is life. I've been doing so many wedding trials. It's crazy. Like my September is almost completely full because of wedding season it's it's seriously insane I didn't realize how popular I mean last year I was pretty booked for September but this year has just been crazy so I've been doing like wedding makeup trials non-stop and obviously everyone pretty much everyone wants false lashes for their wedding and it I always put them on people and I'm like dang why don't I wear false lashes more like it's so easy to put on. And then you just get to strip them off at the end of the day. Like, why not? But here I am putting on my mascara. Okay. But this mascara is good. So now I am going to be using another find from... Actually, this isn't from Ulta. This is from TJ Maxx. I'm super excited about it. It's the MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlighter. <laughs> and this is, oh yeah. Okay, the colors are Flash and Awe, which is the first one. 
Lash and All, Rosy Glow, and Light of the Party. So this is the palette. It comes with a little mirror. It is so just feels nice in my hands. I love MAC products and I was so excited to find this at TJ Maxx for like $16. So definitely hit up your TJ Maxx. Okay, where is my Jaclyn Hill brush? Here it is, my highlighter brush. And I'm just gonna use the tan, the goldish one on the far end. Okay, it's not really that noticeable. Maybe if I do the lightest one. Oh, that's a lot better. Did you notice that? I noticed that. Okay, so the flash and awe is definitely my go-to highlight. I've actually never had a MAC highlighter before, so this is my first time trying it out. It's good. I don't know if, I mean, it looks good. I don't know if I would necessarily, well, I mean, I guess you get three, so I'm sure this is definitely worth it. And I got it at TJ Maxx for $16.99. I don't know if I would pay like $32 for this in the store, but I mean, I noticed it, it looks good. If you're into that sort of thing. Okay, and oh, I also forgot to add, in my Stony Clover Lane dupe video, I mentioned the Ulta um, that are, it's like the dupe to the flat pouch that is from Stony Clover. That's $54. This is it from Ulta. Why did my lighting just change? What the heck? Okay. Anyway, this is the flat pouch, not flat pouch. This is the, yes, the flat pouch dupe from Ulta matches my eyes. What up? And this was $16 compared to the flat pouches. I have one right here. Just so happens to be from Stony Clover. This is $54. This was $16. And actually, this one is a little bit bigger. So, and I'll probably just order some of the new patches off Stony Clover Lane and stick it on this. So, just a little tip for you. And lastly, I'm going to be putting on this estate lip icing look how cute the packaging is it looks like a little cupcake with sprinkles on it oh, tyler and i have had ice cream literally three times this week it's so bad because there's ooh, i like that color i was not expecting that it's like a it's, oh it tastes like icing it tastes like cake If you're hungry, just put on this lip gloss. <laughs> Ooh, it feels really good too. Ooh, I like, okay. This is in the color Drip and it's Estate. Yeah, but anyways, we've had ice cream too many times because we discovered there's a Dairy Queen literally two minutes from our house and we eat it too much. So anyway, just wanted to add that. Thank you so much for watching. I've worked up a thirst. Th oh, this is also new too. Almond milk, Starbucks, Frappuccino, mocha drink thing. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this crazy episode video, YouTube video of Valerie's Vanity. I just wanted to hop on here because I missed you guys and I wanted to share some of these new products and me trying them out for the first time. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Valerie's Vanity and I love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.